Sup my dudes, Val here. Today I'm gonna be going over which are the best units for new players to kind of try to go for. Uh, I made like some beginner guides, but because of the new banner, you have opportunities to get new units that are really, really, really damn good that I do want to talk about and tell you guys why you should get them and what they're good for. So very first off, the very first unit you kind of want to focus on for new players. I already have a team so I can remember what units we're gonna be talking about, but the very first unit you're going to want to be focusing on for new players is really Oshi, right? Oshi is going to be the most important one, and there's one character that's going to help you get your Oshi, because you get Oshi from one of the Legend Sages, or not Oshi, but Idol, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you get them from um, you, the Legend Stages, and one of the best characters in the game to help you do that is Nanami, is Ratio Sorcerer. You don't have to evolve him, you can pull him and use him right away, and he'll be able to pretty much solo the uh, idle stage so you'll be able to get Oshi very very easily using Nanami um, and the reason is is because Nanami is the only unit in the game whenever you put him down whenever you place him he has 70% crit rate off rip you can place him no upgrades no nothing he has 70% crit rate immediately and that makes him an invaluable unit He's very, very good. You use him for forever. He's going to be one of your main Metal Rush units because he's good at clearing early on. Although Metal Rush meta has kind of changed because now you can just use Maharaga, but I'll get into that on a different video. Uh, but still, he's going to be very good for Metal Rush. He's just good for early accounts because he's a very consistent, well, semi-consistent crit unit early in the game. So that's this is basically a good character to get if you're starting the game. Now, with the addition of the Legend Banner which has a bunch of like if you're new summon on legend fest summon on it uh it has some really good characters on it so this has really really strong characters to begin with uh tamer fuko is pretty good that is megami he evo shinji's really really good dennis is good for a money unit uh supplementary money unit he's really good as well uh but these aren't characters you really want to focus on too much yet i'll be going over the characters you want to but here you can see nanami is on this banner as well Nanami is really good. Now, the next one is going to be Blood Queen, and I'm going to go over that in a second why she's really good. But you can also see uh, Tamer Siguru. Geto is on here. Geto is very, very good as well. Peem, etc. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about Blood Queen. Why I have Blood Queen on this list? Um, Blood Queen is very, very, very good for going through pretty much all the story. She's very cheap to max out whenever you do have her. Uh, she ends up going full AoE with her with blood basically she does a blood rain at the end she has good damage she's good off rip doesn't take any evos if you manage to get her she's insanely good um she's just a very very strong unit and once you get blood queen who blood queen's going to one basically solo chainsaw man story and solo jjk story and whenever you get blood queen that allows you to go ahead and run um nezuko now i gotta remember nezuko's name i always forget it i put it over here but I always forget her name. It's like Mizako or something like that. She's a rare, so you're going to get Nezuko. Like, you're going to get a good number of her. You should be able to Eva her pretty simply. Misuko, that's what it is. So, Nezuko has a very unique passive called Misuko Flame. 40% chance, deal 75% attack damage six times to bleeding enemy over three seconds. This is insanely strong. She is the strongest. Well, she wasn't strong, but she's one of the main reasons I was able to beat Abyss. Um, she's really, really, really strong with Blood Queen. It's really good. She's a very solid unit to use with Blood Queen, especially for clearing out story. Uh, she's going to be good. She's cheap to max out. Uh, you don't have to get her Eva, which I don't think is too hard. I don't remember exactly what the requirements are. But normally these rares, commons, and normals aren't that hard to Evo. So I believe she's going to be pretty easy to Evo. Um, but she's going to be really, really good because of that passive. Win paired alongside Blood Queen because you can both run them on Devil Power. Speaking of Devil Power, that brings us into the next unit that I want you guys to try to get as a new player. Uh, Kujaku Demon. Kujaku Demon leads Devil Power. This is going to be a very strong team from the get-go because Blood Queen's also on Devil Power. Uh, but you're going to be able to get Kujaku Demon by going ahead, going on over to uh, Adventure. You're going to want to. You're going to have to clear a little bit of story before you get Kujaku Demon. So this is going to be something you'll be able to get off rip. But you're going to go want to go raid mode. You want to go till you have Spider Mount Raid unlocked. And you just want to keep clicking raid mode, going over to Spider Mount Raid, just checking it constantly. 
and if you click it enough times eventually on a rare chance you will be able to go ahead and get the kujaku demon ray to spawn in uh it just takes a second it should be like kujaku's house i believe it's been a minute since i've had to do it so um keep going down there's not like a normally whenever you're doing like pinky's another good character like this that takes um is another like random spawn or not random but is another like luck one that you have to do you just have to sit here and keep clicking until it pops up uh these characters are really good these secret rares are really really strong and they're very easy to grind up uh pinkies is easy to do now this one you're going to need peem or shielder for because uh kujaku demon is a super boss so that'll be somewhat difficult for newer players but you should be able to find people to run it with pretty easily if you just ask because a lot of people don't even know that you can do this which is crazy to me because of how good Kujaku Demon is. Kujaku Demon is very, very, very good. So, we're just going to keep doing this. We're going to kind of speed it up a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes, it's, sometimes it pops right away. Sometimes it takes a while. Uh, you just have to keep checking. And there we go. Finally got it. Uh, you can see Demon Hunter buff. And if you can run it on Insane, do it. Because it makes it faster. But you got to get four copies of kujaku demon to evo him and once you have him evo he's a really really good unit he leads devil power which is going to be a strong team that's going to get you through basically everything so now that we've covered all of these let's go ahead and talk about another one before i get into peem and shielder and why peem and mash are very very good essentially so let's go ahead and let me clear our filter and i'm going to uh, show you guys the next unit you might want to get uh, Tamer Siguru here. He's also on that banner. Geto. Geto is just strong. That's all there is to it. He's strong for story. He's really good. Uh, he has a summon that he pops in. He's just a good character. That's all there really is to it. He's just a good, solid character to bring in. If you're not planning on running Devil Power, you might want to look into a Geto. Geto's also on that Legend banner that I told you guys about. Really, really good unit. So now, the last unit that you're probably going to want is going to be Mash, which is Shielder shielder or peem i recommend peem over mash if you have the choice but at the end of the day you're going to pick whatever you want uh peem is very very good what peem does is heals you up which is necessary in some stages because bosses will start shooting your base um and she cleanses debuffs whenever you have her maxed out she's a very good character to have very very solid highly highly recommend getting her uh but you absolutely need either shielder or peem or ultima ultima is another one that you can make do with I don't recommend using Ultimus. Uh, Ultimus is definitely usable, though. Solid character. So that's basically it. Now, I know on the Miracle Rares, I made a Miracle Rare video before. Um, those are kind of the characters you do want to start with because they're going to help you out very early on. Very good. Very easy to get. Another character that's pretty easy to get that might... Well, it might take you a little bit of grinding is Dark Flame Lover. Dark Flame Lover is very, very good as well. Uh, this is a Miracle Rare that you can go craft super solid character super good to go ahead and build up pretty good uh all in all whenever you're starting off do the codes there's codes that they have it on the uh in the announcements on the discord do the codes summon on this banner try to get like i said ratio sorcerer try to get ghetto try to get peem try to get uh blood queen is the biggest one if you get blood queen you basically win that's basically it other than that thank you guys all for watching as always hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day if you guys have any more questions about which new units you think you should, or not which new units, but which units you should go for as a beginner, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. I've replied to almost everything. Uh, if you guys are asking me, I see you guys so many times listing your teams and units you have and asking me to make a good team. Guys, to make a good team, literally just put, like, a, like see how this is Bloody Hunt category? To make a good team, you see how your leader is leading Bloody Hunt. Go over here, go to category click bloody hunt and pick some units out of here to make a bloody hunt team for example it, could, it doesn't have to be bloody hunt but you can use any category like this i like don't list me your units and then ask me to make you a team because i'm not going to do it because that's not the way this game works uh you guys have to pick a category and build a team based off that category all right this is going to come out of nowhere i was getting ready to record another video but i do want to mention this before i go ahead and move on i was about to uh forget about this whenever you guys are new uh whenever you're brand new to the game for the love of god please make sure that your units are max leveled all you're going to do to max level a unit let's see if i can find one i haven't leveled 
Uh, that's going to be a challenge in itself. What about you? Okay, so here you go. So whenever you have a unit you haven't leveled, just go ahead, go in here. The base level is 30. Whenever you Evo a character, it adds 10 levels. Whenever you Limit Break a character, it adds 3 levels. Just go off that. Make sure you guys go ahead and max level your characters. And then re-roll their modifiles. You get a ton of these. You guys can see I have 3,000. You get a ton of these, so don't worry about wasting them. You want to try to get these all maxed out um, and see if you can get something good. So this is what something you'll see me do in a lot of videos whenever I'm first like working on a unit. Or whenever I'm streaming, you guys will see me go ahead and do this. You want to re-roll the modifiles. You want to max level the characters. Because that's kind of how you're going to get it. You can see this is a... It could be negative if you get it too low. But like I said, you guys get plenty of these modifiles. Just re-roll away till you get whatever it is that you're looking for. Whether you want to get high modifiles on your favorite units. See, this is pretty good. Max out attack. 106, 94. Could go a little bit better. That'll be fine like that. 112, 97% cost. Um, yeah, this is a good one. Basically, this is it. Make sure you're doing this on all the units you're using. Make sure they're max level. Make sure you reroll their modifiles. And if it's a unit you really like, go ahead and do the limit break. Limit break increases max level by three. More max level, more attack. Very big deal. So other than that, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.